Okay, so here's a quick little screencast to go over the factor label method as it relates to unit conversions. So we're going to start with a simple example, one that involves a metric unit to metric unit conversion. So if you look at this example, what we see here is we're going to be converting 34.8 deciliters into kiloliters. Now, both of those share in common the unit of liter, okay? So that's always something that's good to notice. Like, well, how are we going to relate these two? Well, they're all based upon that base unit of volume, the liter. So the first step we have to ask ourselves is we have to identify relevant conversion factors. So those are the conversion factors that will allow us to start with deciliter and then end up with kiloliter as our unit label in our answer. So in this particular problem, we need to know a relationship between deciliters and that base unit liter, and we also need to know a relationship between kiloliter and liters. Now remember that prefix deci. Deci is a prefix that means smaller than 10. In fact, it means one-tenth. So if we apply that, one deciliter is 0 0.1 or one-tenth, of a liter. And again, we're just basing that off of what the prefix deci means. You should have all these prefixes in your notes already. Now, kilo, on the other hand, for kiloliter, kilo implies a number much greater than one. In fact, it means a thousand specifically. So, one kiloliter is the same as one thousand liters. So now we have this information, we can start solving the problem we're going to use the conversion factors so that our unit labels that we don't want anymore cancel out. So here's the solution. We're always going to start with what we're given, and in this case we're given 34.8 deciliters. So I'm going to start by writing that. The next piece is we're going to convert those conversion factors into a fraction so that we can cancel out our unwanted labels. In this case, I want to cancel out deciliters. The only way to cancel that out is going to be to have that same unit label in the denominator of our factor that we're going to use. So we're going to use our conversion factor between deciliters and liters. And if you remember from our last slide, you can always rewind the video and check it out. There is 0 0.1 liters for every one deciliter. Now that helps me because it gets rid of this unit label of deciliter, and now I've got the problem essentially converted into liters. That's only part of the solution, though. So I'm going to continue to use my conversion factors expressed as fractions until all of my unwanted labels cancel out. So I'm going to make sure that liters is in the denominator in this case, and then the unit that I want my answer in, kiloliters, is in the numerator. And I just need to remember my conversion factor, 1 kiloliter, 1,000 liters. So at this point, we have our solution. We just need to do some checks. Let's make sure all of our unit labels cancel. So deciliters cancels and liters cancels as well. And we're left with kiloliters as a result. That final step then is to just simplify the expression and we're going to record our answer with units. So if we go back and we look at our slide, so when we simplify everything, and essentially what that means is we multiply 34.8 times 0.1 divided by 1 times 1 and then divided by 1,000, we get our simplified answer. And I've boxed my answer just for clarity. We could represent this in normal notation as 0 0.00348. We could also represent it in scientific notation as 3.48 times 10 to the negative third kiloliters. Now try this one. Pause the video and apply the same method to convert 0 0.960 megameters into centimeters. And here's your solution to check your work. Hope this was helpful. If you have specific questions, make sure you send me an email or we can talk about it in class.